Working as a visual storyteller, both in stills and video, for almost two decades, every day has been a new adventure. My name is João Carlos, and I'm a Fuji X photographer. I recently partnered up with Portuguese Antique Motorcycle Club, and we had five awesome classic motorcycles and a gorgeous model who's also a member of the club, Marina, as our subjects. My setting was this amazing old industrial factory. This gave me the perfect opportunity to film with the new Fuji X-H1. In these situations, it's important that your camera is fast and responsive. That was definitely my first impression of the X-H1. I usually have a dedicated video and a separate stills camera. And for this session, I took some stunning stills at maximum quality with the GFX 50S. When shooting in lighting conditions that are always changing, this can be very challenging. I use my Profoto B1 system with the new Profoto Air TTLF. The X-H1 was used as a dedicated video camera, utilizing all of its features to create the most cinematic look possible. The color reproduction is outstanding, picking up even the finest details and textures of the motorcycles. I love the quality and look of 4K video, and with the added 5-axis integrated body stabilization, my footage came out nice and smooth. The X-H1 films at cinema 4K, recording in a 17 by 9 format. I love that look and cinematic style. The added F-Log gives me more latitude and full color correction control during the color grading process, matching the quality levels I was aiming for. Back in the day, I used to use and love the look of Fuji films. The color separation, the skin tones, the right amount of contrast were the exact ones for my kind of image. So, I decided to test the in-camera Eterna film simulation modes. The cinematic and retro look were still there making this a great option for the same day edit kind of job. The post-processing needed was minimal. At the end of the day, I feel that the X-H1 is the ideal tool for my multimedia productions, and it perfectly found its place in my creative toolbox.